Hey everyone, Jason Shepard, M0A Online Ground School. In this video, we're gonna learn how to pick up VFR flight following on the ground. What's happening, m 0 Nation? Jason Shepard here as we dive into now a radio communications series. Who would be truthful with me? Who will step into my honesty corner for a second? Show of hands, type in me in the comments who struggled with or was terrified of radio communications at one point. I'm, I'm raising both hands. If you've read Aviation Master the book, you know my story. When I was a young student pilot, went right across a whole short line at a class Delta without Tower telling me to do so and told them, hey, I'm, I'm ready to go. They, they had some nice words for me. They were actually very kind about the whole situation, but uh, that was my first and hopefully forever last <laughs> runway incursion that I caused, um, as far as that goes, many decades ago now. In this video, I wanna take you into 2-3 Mike Zulu. We're gonna be down at Naples, leaving from the Rex Air Flight School, and we're gonna pick up VFR flight following on the ground. We're gonna continue the flight, though, all the way from ground, tower to then getting passed off from tower to departure control, sometimes called approach control as well, really the same person just with two different names. You'll see how all of that transgresses and goes across, then we'll come back here in the studio and we'll break it all down. I'm going to ask for VFR flight following right here with ground on the ground. You can do this at some deltas, all Charlies, all Bravos. But it's some delta. Some deltas can, some deltas cannot. I, I have personally found maybe there's a great controller out there watching that can help me figure out as to why. But I've noticed at a place like Ocala that actually doesn't have a radar, class delta, but no radar, I can't do that. They can't provide those same radar services. At a place like Naples where I'm at now, they do have a radar, and I've done this in the past with them. So let's go ahead and let's ask together here. He's grabbing my IFR clearance. on request. Uh, number 815, Mike Charlie, departure frequency 12, correction 124.12, 12, and squawk 1130. Okay, 1130, 124.12, 15, Mike Charlie. Naples Ground, Skyhawk 23, Mike Zulu. Number 23, Mike Zulu, Naples Ground, stand by. We're getting ready to switch out controllers. Well, I guess we're standing by. Two three Mike Zulu ground. Afternoon, Naples Ground. Two three Mike Zulu's at Rex Air with Tango. We're VFR to Oscar Charlie Foxtrot. Hope he can set us up with VFR flight following at four thousand five hundred. For two three Mike Zulu, I'll start working on that. Are you guys ready to taxi? And we're ready to taxi now from Rex Air. Two three Mike Zulu, runway five at Delta One intersection. Taxi Bravo Delta cross runway one four. All right, we're going to five at Delta One, Bravo, Delta, cross one four, two three, Mike Zulu. Let's get our taxiway diagram out. Ground November nine two zero Faceli, ready to taxi with information Tango. Here we go. All right, here's Bravo. Always thinking ahead, right? Number nine two zero off Charlie Ground Runway five taxi via I'm Alta. I'm thinking. I'm being quiet on purpose here for an, just a second. Yeah, Only for the taxi, but he's going to be coming back to me with a squat code and a frequency. Two three Mike Zulu, I have all the numbers for you if you're ready to copy. And two three Mike Zulu is ready to copy. Two three Mike Zulu squawk five seven four three, and the Fort Myers departure frequency is one two four point one two. All right, we're squawking five seven four three and one two four point one two for two three Mike Zulu. Your Mike Zulu, all correct. Consider 918. Uh, I'm on Bravo. Bravo. Here's Delta. Consider this is where I cross 1 4. He said Bravo, Delta, cross 1 4. I'm heading to 5, 5 to my right. I know that because I have 2 3 here, 5 there. 5 is this direction on that sign. Hold short of Alpha. Bravo 1, Bravo short of Alpha, Jet Center 918. I know he cleared me across 1 4, but I'm still double checking. Life looks good. So now I've got Fort Myers approach, departure, whatever you want to call them. It's going to be the same person. I've got Fort Myers knowing I'm coming, waiting for me, and knowing I'm going to Ocala. It looks like I've got a very long taxi ahead of me now. Down Delta, all the way to Delta 1. And again, I've already briefed this on the ground. I've been to the Naples airport a few times, know my way around a little bit here. 
That's all good. On this long straight taxi, I'm going to use that to configure everything up. Notice too, I always keep the scratch pad kind of loaded and ready to go here on the iPad, so it's always ready. Five seven four three. Five seven four three. On departure, maintain two. Can you see why two pilots are so helpful? We expect flight level four zero zero within ten minutes. Departure frequency one two four point one two. Squawk seven one five six. Great. All right, I have multiple people talking at once. All right, switching to tower because the crown's just getting busy, and I'm right here at the end. I'm going to do my run-up, and then at my run-up, I'm also going to get my next frequency ready as well. Checklist here, ready to go. Over A15, Mike Charlie, uh, Naples Tower, runway 5, cleared for takeoff. Would that be a left right, turnout or a right turnout right for your down, destination? Left side down, left side down, right, right side down, right right side down five, be a full back, turnout, full uh, forward, wagon our tail, Mike Charlie, turn everything else looks good. Mixture's coming course, right, uh, lights all on, circuit breakers, and fuel selector balance to both. Five, Mike Charlie, Roger, thank you. 1700 RPMs. Check my mags. Left side. Back to both. Right side, great drops. Back to both. Carburetor heat, engine instruments, green, green. Life's looking good. A nice smooth idle check. Excellent. That's coming off. All right, I'm squawking 5743. I'm getting departure always. Delta 352, short approach proof. Thinking Runway ahead. 5, cleared to land. Wind 070012. I've got Fort Myers Clear approach there. Runway 5, 5352. Five, All that is set. And short approach proof. I'm going to bug my altitude for 4,500 feet. And what you can realize, if you're just a private pilot, this is getting you ready for instrument pilot. This is like instrument pilot light right now, it's going to feel like. I'm going to leave my door open. I know it seems crazy, but this is Florida. And I know you're saying it's the winter time, Jason. Well, it's still Florida. South Florida in this case. Seatbelt's good. Everything's secure. Tower Skyhawk 23, Mike Zulu 5, Delta 1, ready for departure. I could get Number 5, Mike Charlie, uh, contact Fort Myers, departure. I'm ready for a heading out of here, typically, as well. Number 23, Mike Zulu, Naples Tower, hold short, runway 5 at Delta 1. Holding short 5 at Delta 1, 23, Mike Zulu. Over the departure, five actually. Jet Center 918 is ready at five. Just a 352 left on Charlie and ground point six. Left on Charlie, ground point six, five three three five two. thank you. Welcome. Number 23, Mike Zulu, turn left on course, runway five at Delta One, cleared for takeoff. Request no delay, please. No delay, and that's left on course, clear for takeoff five, thanks to the Mike Zulu. Didn't need to read back the no delay, by the way. I was just being polite. Final looks clear. Don't let the pressures of the controller get to you sometimes. If you don't feel like you can accept a no delay, tell them I'll wait my turn. Airspeed's alive. Engine gauges. Green, green, green over here. 65, rotate. She's flying. All right, what am I waiting for next? I'm gonna get told to contact approach. And by the way, I was told left turn on course. So here we go. Number two, three, Mike Zulu, uh, left on course and contact Fort Myers, departure good day. Left on course, over to departure. Thanks, two, three, Mike Zulu. Flip-flopping over, on course climbing. Uh, one, two, six, I'm going to check eight, in uh, with one, two, nine, my altitude eight. climbing two, or climbing, I'm sorry, don't say the two, climbing blank. 600 climbing 4,500. Don't say 700 climbing two 4,500. Don't add two, because it could be T-O, T-O-O, T-W-O, right? You don't want to confuse them. So let's practice. I'm on Fort Myers. I'm probably going to get told to ident, so get ready for that. Fort Myers, Skyhawk 23, Mike Zulu, 900, climbing 4,500. Just wait. I'm probably going to get told to I can't. Uh, Comment taken. Uh, Skyhawk 23, Mike Zulu, 1,000, climbing 4,500. 23, Mike Zulu, Fort Myers, departure for the contact, climb to your VFR, requested altitude, flatting 320 for the climb. 320 for the climb, up to 4,500, thanks, 23, Mike Zulu. He wants me on a 320 for the climb. So I'm going to head that way, no problem. 320 for the climb, out towards the coast. 
and then climbing up to my 4,500. Sometimes I'll give you an ident there as well. Notice I didn't say with you, you'll hear that a lot. It's not wrong, it's just, it's extra words that don't need to be added to there. 1,400 climbing, 4,500 to where I am going to, right? That's what we're looking to let them know. So pretty cool stuff. I know that was a long video, by the way, but you're able to see how if they have a radar there, we can pick up VFR flight following on the ground and be all set up with our squat code. have everything ready to go. And I recommend too. And one thing you saw, and I want to point out too, when they gave me that transponder squat code, when they gave me that frequency, I kind of knew it was coming. But did you also see I was on a very straight part of my taxi? If that were a more complex taxi or an unfamiliar airport, Sometimes you gotta be as brave enough to say, hey, are you okay if I stop real quick here, write all this down, and then continue on. So just keep that in mind as well. Don't say, hey, just because Jason did that, that means you can do that as well. I'm super familiar with the airport and it was a very long straight part of that taxi without any intersections coming up. So be mindful of that as well. Don't just jump to conclusions and think that you have to navigate on the ground and write everything down and read everything back. Sometimes, you know, toes on the brakes, just sit there for a second and write it all down and then continue on. And if they wanna get mad at you about stopping in the taxiway, well, they'll be mad at you if you miss your turn or make a wrong turn as well. So the choice is yours when it comes to that. Radio communications don't have to be difficult though. It's something I want you to continue to focus on, even as an instrument and commercial pilot. These are things you can always be improving on. Hey, make sure you like and subscribe on YouTube and Facebook. Have a blessed, abundant, outstanding rest of your day. And most importantly, remember, the good pilot is always learning. Have a great day, everybody. We'll see you.